Hi guys, uh, how are you doing? Captain Orbit again, and uh, happy day to you. Today, I just want to uh, talk about something that's um, common and can be quite irritating at airports or indeed in flight uh, because of some error in some aircraft where they forget to um, unlatch specific switches. In this case, I'm talking about the radio transmit switches. Now, every time you speak on the radio to air traffic control, we have to obviously select a switch so that the microphone gets connected through the airwaves to air traffic control or indeed to other aircraft if we want to talk to other aircraft on the air to air frequencies. Now to do that, we use uh, obviously the headset. So I'll grab the headset here. So obviously I've got the headset on now, so it would look like that. So I've got the headset on. I'm actually sitting in the Boeing 747-400 simulator, in case you're wondering. So I'm, I'm just about to show you what quite often happens. It irritates other aircraft. It irritates air traffic control no end because nobody can really transmit and everybody is sort of, the, basically the frequency is blocked because somebody has pressed the transmit button and hasn't let it go or accidentally it has been selected on. So this is what I mean. So each pilot has obviously a headset position and over here is the uh, VHF, HF and flight interphone selectors. So to transmit on any frequency, this switch here on this audio selector panel, that's the audio selector panel, I select VHF1 on a frequency on VHF1 on this side, in this case 118.4, there it is, on the left hand side, that's the active frequency, and there's a standby frequency. So the active one is the one I'll transmit on. So if I want to talk to air traffic control now, and I push this forward to RT. RT just means radio telephony. If I push that now, like that, I'm now transmitting to ATC. I don't know if you can hear it through the speaker. I think you can. So it's going to air traffic control. So I speak to them and I say, uh, Hong Kong Tower Cafe uh, 733 at the holding point ready for takeoff. And I release the switch. So if I don't release the switch, and it stays, stays like that. Nobody else can transmit on that frequency because I've already blocked it because I've got that channel to speak to air traffic control. So what happens is, so what happens is uh, normally a, a transmit switch, which is also on the control column here, here, like that. So if I select that, if you, I don't know if you can see it like that, that's transmitting. So if that, if that rocker switch remains in the transmit position, then I block the frequency again. And anybody else trying to talk or transmit on that frequency can't. Sometimes you just hear a high-pitched squelch, meaning there's two aircraft transmitting on the same frequency and nobody can get through. Quite often, air traffic control transmit and say all aircraft change to frequency so-and-so to try and then block that channel because somebody is obviously had that switch pressed or accidentally has been selected on. On the 747 and all the other aircraft, of course, we also have a hand microphone, which is usually the culprit. So there's a hand microphone here. And to transmit on this hand microphone, I press a button. See that? Like that. Hello, uh, Cafe 733. Like that. So, so what happens normally is um, this transmit button if I, if I don't replace this correctly, this transmit button stays pressed without me knowing it while it's down there maybe. It shouldn't be, but just by accident, if it falls off its holder or something and it falls upside down like that, so it would be pressing down like that. And of course it would immediately bl block the frequency. And because we don't use it much on the ground, for example, um, it could be stuck in that transmit position blocking the frequency and nobody can transmit so on the 747 i'll show you what we have here we have a system where if a microphone is stuck blocking a frequency after 35 seconds we get an alert up on the upper icas let me show you 
So there's the upper, I guess. So what I'll do is I'm going to press the transmit button here. There's transmit. And I'm going to hold it in transmit as though it was stuck in position and see what happens after approximately 35 seconds. Let's see what we get that comes up. So we're coming up to um, 30 seconds in about five seconds. There you go. Just on 35 seconds, it says radio transmit. Now radio transmit, we have a QRH in the checklist. If we call it up, if we see that on the ground while we're busy doing our pre-flight and so on, there's obviously a microphone stuck. So let's have a look what it says in the QRH. Quick reference handbook. It says radio transmit. 0.747400. Condition, a radio transmits continuously without crew input. Objective, to identify and isolate the stuck microphone. One, transmitter select switches all audio select panels, flight interphone. This deselects radios and stops radio transmissions. Okay, so flight interphone is this one here. You see this, flight interphone. I'll select that for the transmit, which is the top button. I'll select flight interphone on the captain side, there. I'll select flight interphone on the uh, observer's one as well, there. So, so what that's done is it has deselected any transmissions on the VHF or HF frequencies completely. So if, if there's a stuck microphone, it's transmitting only within us in flight interphone to us. That's what it's doing. So. The, that's the fix for it initially. At least we unblock that frequency and then people can talk and ATC will be happy that somebody's recognized that there was a, a my, stuck microphone. So what else does it say on the checklist? Let's have a look. Then it says, uh, the microphone or interphone with the stuck microphone switch continuously transmits on flight interphone. The associated audio select panel should stay on flight interphone. All other audio select panels may be used normally. Now we don't know where the stuck microphone was, but we know that we've put everything to flight interphone and we'll only select the captain side to transmit and the first officer side to transmit. So any other audio select panels are all on flight interphone. So if they're stuck, then they're stuck. It doesn't matter. At least we've unblocked the frequency. So that's what happens. But we do get a warning, uh, a caution. Uh, light comes up on the upper ICAS. It just says radio transmit. There you go. Now you know. Later.